talk about the evidence about Jesus that we do have and how it's come down to us. Well, these 27 books that you talk about really come from nine figures. Uh, we're talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. We're talking about James and Jude, the author of Hebrews, who his origin said, only God knows who that is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, people like this. So we've got relatives of Jesus in the case of James and Jude. We've got, uh, we've got uh, people who uh, walked with Jesus as part of the Twelve and Matthew and John. And by the way, even if you're a moderate, even if you think this comes through uh, the Matthean school or the Johannine school as opposed to going back directly to Matthew and John, you're still saying this is coming through a tradition whose roots go back to Jesus. Yeah, because Matthew was one of the apostles, John was one of the apostles, and everybody knows that Luke traveled with Paul and, and Mark traveled with Peter. So the That's fact right. is this is, goes right back to the boys themselves. Exactly right. And so, so what you've got is, is material that's taking you back to the earliest time. The Gnostic material doesn't have anything like that. The only book that they have that comes close is the Gospel of Thomas. Gnostic books came out when? They were written when? Generally speaking, they start appearing in the second century, early second century, and then they really start to proliferate in the middle part of the second century, the latter part of the second century, the early part of the So this stuff's a hundred years past the end of the Apostles. By the time it's starting to multiply, yes.